just like the song says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And one reason for the holiday cheer is the FCS playoffs are beginning and the Fargo Dome can be a magical place. I think the noise is a little bit louder, it's, at least it seems like it to me. Uh, it, uh, um, it's, a, it's no question a tough venue to play in. And the intensity is uh, a little better and so um, it, it's just amped up. You know, the Fargo Dome is going to be a little bit crazier. The Bison are attempting to win their sixth consecutive national title. And the first step in that process is a San Diego Toreros team that is currently on a 10-game winning streak. It's just really impressive that they've done that. And if you pop up the film, they've been dominant at their level and their conference. And they won their conference and they beat Cal Poly, which we know is a good team. They beat the heck out of everybody in their league. I mean, the games aren't even close. The Toreros won the Pioneer League title this year and picked up the conference's first win in the FCS playoffs. A big reason for the win over Cal Poly was senior running back Jonah Hodges, who put up three touchdowns and nearly 200 rushing yards. Hodges ranks fifth in the FCS in total rushing yards. Really talented player, knows when to cut, knows when to just get what he can. They're going to uh, get into big personnel and run the football. But Hodges isn't the only offensive threat. Sophomore quarterback Anthony Lawrence ranks in the top 20 in passing yards in the FCS while throwing 24 touchdowns with only seven interceptions. The quarterback, I think, throws the ball exceptionally well, especially some back shoulder fades and stuff that uh, are difficult to defend, and, and uh, they have some height at wide receiver. San Diego ranks sixth in the FCS in rushing defense. The Toreros put that on full display last Saturday when they held the number two rushing offense in the FCS to nearly 200 yards less than their average. They're super sound on defense. That's one thing that I think that kind of jumped out at me initially was uh, they're never out of place. They're in their gaps uh, where they're supposed to be and, and they make plays on the football. Saturday will mark the first game the Bison have played against a Pioneer League team since NDSU beat Valparaiso in 2004. The Bison will look to continue their perfect record at home in the FCS playoffs which begins for NDSU at 2.30 p.m. Central Time and can be seen on WatchESPN.com or the ESPN app, along with ESPN College Extra. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Rory.